What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm here with somebody you haven't seen on the channel before and I am not in my studio. This is Nathan from the channel Paragon Fragrance. What's, What's up guys? Nathan? I'm good. I'm good, man. Thank you for... Ross is here in my house, in my, well, apartment. In your home. Yeah. Humble abode. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So for those of you that don't know who Nathan is, all the evening mystique, you know, theatrics and beautiful shots you've seen, he made those for me. Hell, this man made the TLTG Reviews logo for me many years ago. This is the Nathan I refer to, for those of you that have heard me say that name before. So, for those of you that don't know, Paragon Fragrance is his channel. Great quality as far as production value. If you want some cinematography, some great videography and edits. Just a great showcase. The presentation you really don't get on my channel, to be honest with you. It's called a spade a spade here. But what we're going to be doing today, I have five very specific niche fragrances that I brought with me that I know for a fact he has never smelled before. Now, test strips don't always tell the story, as you guys hear me say often, but we're going to give it our best go, right? I, I'm going to try my best here. I, I'm not a seasoned professional, but, you know, we're going to, we're going to do, we're going to do it. Nor am I. We're just a couple of enthusiasts, damn it. <laughs> so, stay tuned. Yep, go ahead and turn around. All right. Let me show you guys what we're looking at first. Okay. Two good sprays. All right, turn around, sir. All right, here we go. Let's see. I'm very curious. All five of these, I'm quite curious. Uh, that's really spicy. Uh, Indeed. Picking up like a patchouli kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Man's good. The, what makes you say patchouli? What about it? Uh, it's got like a, there's like a certain herbal quality that patchouli has like a, I don't know, like a, a creamy herbal. That's the word I was looking for. Choc like a, not a chocolatey. It's not chocolatey, no. But it's that denseness, that. That herbal creamy tone that patchouli, um, a lot of patchoulis have. That's definitely, yeah, I get that too. Lavender or some kind of. There's a very specific note I'm curious if you'll get. I don't know if the test strip's allowing it to come through or not. I want to say like a soft leather or something, but. Animalistic for sure. Yeah, it's There's like. There's an a, animalistic tone to it, but it's not leather. It's, I don't remember leather being in the note breakdown. I could be wrong. But that's not the dominating note that I'm looking for. It's very nice. Uh, it's not something that I like jump over the moon for. I would not like wear this um, religiously. It's fair. But being like a fragrance like enthusiast, I would wear this. I would wear it because it's definitely got a little bit of a crowd pleasing aspect for the animalic tone. Yeah. So you I, like it? I do. Uh, I do. If you had to give it a rating one through 10, where would it fall? Probably a seven, seven out of 10. That's a solid rating. It's a very good rating. Yeah. So um, let me smell it on the paper real quick before I reveal what it is. It's interesting. It's very interesting. I do get a little bit of it. You don't find it to be a little funky? Yeah, it's a little... Como Lake Noturno, Oud, Cinnamon. I believe there's a little bit of patchouli in here. It's a little funky. It's a lot of cinnamon at the top. So I wasn't surprised when you said spicy as soon as you smelled yeah, it. Yeah, now that you're saying cinnamon, I... I pick up a lot of cinnamon, but there's a lot of it, yeah. Uh, but that's like you know, don't see the purple elephant. Purple elephants are everywhere now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> but it's the whole. Have you ever never, never heard of that? No. It's like don't think of a purple elephant. What are you thinking of right now? That's all you're gonna think yeah. about is purple. Elephant. So it's like the cinnamon thing. The mind playing tricks. The I mind. Get it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Anyway, so that's nice. That's really nice. Guys, you can get this at Kingdom Fragrances. I'll have links down below. Get a sample and try it. Como Lake Noturno. I'm, I'm decent at this. Yeah, so far so good, right? I'll show you guys. Pretty good. Show you guys what we're working with. All right, sir. Let's turn around. All right, here we go. Here hmm. we go. I wonder. Uh, <laughs> this is a good one to stump you on for sure. 
Uh, I'm getting like cedar. Uh, okay. Like a, a citrus, like a lemon, maybe black currant. I don't recall that being in there. Uh, There's some citrus. But yeah, definitely like a lemon. Now I will say the paper is wildly different from on skin. For yeah. This one. Wildly different. I'm honestly, you know what I'm picking up? Tell me. It's like Sidrop Boise. That is not accurate Intense. at all. So the paper, shame on the test strip. I'm blaming the test strip for this. Interesting that that's the route you're going, though. Cause but, yeah, I, I pick up, like, a, a woody vetiver. like uh, It's definitely woody. Uh, a citrus cedar, obviously, I feel. I have a feeling why you're saying cedar. When I explain to you what's really going on yeah. in the com composition. Hmm. Um, Does it smell good? Yeah. Oh, no. It smells fantastic. Um, Most important, right? It, it smells like, like I was saying, it was like, it smells like, like a much more woody, spicy Cidrop Boise. From the There's paper. definitely some spices. There's definitely some woods. It's a dry fragrance. It is, well. yeah. It's I'm a very right. dry fragrance. Uh, almost like. Does it paint any sort of picture for you as far as scenery, maybe? Um, yeah, like a dry woods, like a. Like a wood forest, but there's like a dry vanilla too in here. I feel. I want to say there is. Uh, I want to say there's. I wish I had the note breakdown in front of me. We're recording on my phone, so I can't pull it up to check. Yeah, it's it's very nice, but it's, it's a very a dry woody, dry woody vanilla kind of thing. That's what I'm picking up, and then I'm just gonna stick to it. Cidrop Boise intense. That's kind of funny. So, I don't know. Well, but now that you say intense, that makes more sense because of like. Because the woodiness, the leather, you get any leather? Because there's leather. It's plenty of leather. Uh, not too much. Not too much. It's the test strip. So, what do you rate it? Um, this one, because I love that DNA. And I it's do too. Probably not it. But, it's not. <laughs> uh, gosh, this is like, I would say the same. Seven out of ten. Really. Seven out of ten. That's that's say hey, that's very good in my rating system. I'm good with that. So I was waiting to see if you would come up with desert. In any way, shape, or form, this is Red Colorado from M. McAleaf, their newest release. Oh. There's leather, there's smoke, there's amber, there's spices. It's very dry. It's magnificent. Just smell it. Smell it out the atomizer. Now, do you still get Cidrap Boise? No. No, not even a little. I was surprised to hear that. I'm but actually... It's it, the test strip, though. Yeah, it has like a dry spiciness to it. Yeah, it's very dry, spicy. It's leathery. It's all about the desert. I forgot what area, Red Colorado something or another. It's a certain portion of the state, which we're in Colorado, for those that didn't know. We, that Springs. is, uh, that's a good. Uh, this is awesome. That's a good fragrance to This have. is damn good. But after this, you feel free to spray it on your skin and check it out. I know, um, yeah, I saw that the other day on Instagram. It was uh, Smell of Truth. Um, Kareem? I think yeah, Kareem. Was Shout out to Kareem. Kareem. We yeah. love Kareem on this channel. I saw him, uh, and he, he's, he had that come in. And this, so... Any of you familiar with M. Mika Leaf, Desir Toxic gets all the love. And yes, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It's a hype you smell piece. that? I have not, no. It's phenomenal. I have Got to get it. you to smell it. I have it. This is better. That's more date night. This is more daytime masculine. Yeah, that's very masculine fragrance. Yeah, so good stuff. 7 out of 10, I'm good with that rating. I like it. That's really good, yeah. All right, moving on. This stuff's real good. Man. That is really good. I've been, uh, I was like really wanting to try that. I picked bangers, by the way. All that's... five of these are good. Show you guys. Three good sprays. All right, turn around, sir. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's very nice. Agreed. I don't know if I'll keep the B roll in, but if I did cut it out in between, he was talking about how good Red Colorado is. I said, I picked nothing but bangers, sir. It's five really, really good ones here. Uh, I'd be shocked if there's disappointment anywhere. No, this is uh, so far so good. Yeah, um, you never know. He might hate the next one. <laughs> uh, a lot of, like, spices in here. Uh, like, even, like, I feel like some cumin is in here. Uh, I want to say you're correct on that, sir. Yeah. I, I don't remember the note breakdown exactly. I know several of the notes. And then I feel like cardamom, too. Heavy. That's the note I'm thinking is in there that you're probably getting. Heavy on that. Anything else jumping out at you as far as accords, maybe? 
certain style? Anything um, scenery paint the picture? Any yeah, that? like a pine, something like a pine needle. Uh, honestly, it smells like a Christmas tree, but like a. It's fair. I smell it on the test strip. I agree with that. Like a woody Christmas tree. It's very nice. It is very nice. Oh my god. Okay, he's liking this. I think we're. I think we're going to get a higher rating. Is that fair to say? Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's honestly, see. very. I'm getting like a pine accord, like a like a pine needle accord, like a pine cone kind of thing. I think some of the notes are kind of creating this green essence on the test strip for you, combining with that cardboard construction paper type of material. Probably most likely. Because you may be a little surprised to find out what some of the accords are on this one, but you're not far off the path here. Like you're 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 pretty pretty close. But I, I feel like it's spicy. Yes. Uh, I, I'm definitely picking up like cardamom. And then I believe that's in there. The pine stuff and then very aromatic. Uh, that it is. I like it. I like it a lot. I had eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. That's a really? great rating in yeah. my rating system. So this is the women's release for the newest collection from Amois. This is Lineage. Wow. Aquatic, resinous, smoky. It has their signature DNA of that Oriental spices and resins wow. touch. It's definitely in there with the spices. That is fantastic. Let's smell it from here. It's it's a it's a rich. It's a rich opening it's a lot it might might be a little too much for some in the top but boy if you give it five minutes to settle on your skin yeah this opens up great it's very so is quiet. there any pine in there at all i don't recall i believe it's, there's some green notes in here i, I believe cardamom's in here i know there's incense and it's resins, fabulous though and it's very aquatic and bitter like it's got this marine salty marine type of tone to it almost yeah, like a seaweed that, yeah. type of feel even though I don't think seaweed's in there, I don't recall it, but it's got that kind of that feeling, that bitter aquatic. Yeah, definitely. Very salty. Now that I'm, uh, now that you're saying that. Yeah, yeah, on skin again, it would open up so much more. On oh the yeah. Skin. I, am watching like those those companies. Does man. this smell feminine to you in any way? Um, no, but I, I definitely like a boss chick can wear this. Absolutely. It's like, very unisex. This is a women's release. Yeah. When Twisted Lily asked me which one I would like to receive. I heard Justin say some good things about this. I saw the notes. I said, I would like that one. It's so I grabbed nice. it, and yes, I definitely started with it. I haven't smelled the other three half samples. But I haven't it tried them yet. It doesn't come across like it's not feminine. like Not at all. Uh, it's not. Not, not even a little. There's no florals. There's no sweet, fruity tones. It's very homage. Yeah. It's very homage. That's Eight nice. out of ten. That's really good. That's my first homage that I've ever smelled. I've got several. I gotta I've you not. I'm gonna never. have to have you over, and we'll do an homage video. That would be fun. <laughs> All right, show you guys. Oh, it's shaking. Let me stop it. All right, show you guys. Give it a few sprays. All right, turn around, sir. Right, here we go. Whew. Potent. Whoa, that is attacking me. Yeah, it's strong. It's really strong. You're going to laugh, but... I'm ready. Hit me. You know what this smells like? Tell me. A maple donut. Or That's not too far off from what's going on in the composition. I'm not going to laugh. That's, yeah. Very gourmand aspect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, A lot of gourmand facets to it. It's uh, rich. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Very high oil concentration. God, I need to get a restraining order on this thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, it's getting serious. Yeah. Th wow, this is insane. Can you pick anything out of it? Um, it is uh, almost like a boozy accord. Uh, it's like very a, boozy. Yeah. It has like a, like a rich... Uh, there's a spice in here that I can't identify. But cinnamon. I believe it's cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon. There's other spices too, but I believe cinnamon. But then, like a warm vanilla. Uh, I'm not gonna spill the beans on some of the gourmand notes, but like a ginger, like a, like a. I believe that is in there actually. Soft ginger. Mm -hmm. um, this man's pretty good. I'm, I'm trying here. <laughs> I'm really trying. <laughs> uh, this is excellent. Oh my god, this is actually it's reminding me a lot of like uh, Angel Share, like that kind of. Not like a clone by any means. I but get which, it does the same job though. Yeah, it, it has it's that the same vibe. Yeah, almost kind of like a champagne accord, like a mm. 
like a vanilla champagne something. I don't know. It's very nice. Uh, wow. Uh, Wow's a good word to throw in there. For me, wearing this would be hard. It's blowing me away. It's blowing me away here. And my rating for this would be uh, probably a 6 out of 10. Just wow. for that purpose of... This is a very situational fragrance. And That's fair. Especially for me. I agree. But In your professional only, life, this is not something easy for you to wear. No, I, this is I like... I understand completely. If I showed up on a job site with this... This is not I, a work fragrance at all. This is this is definitely in your leisure. This is like your... This is going out. This is your spending time with your boss fragrance. Uh, no, this is nice. This is very nice. Six out of ten. So I get it. It's still better than good. It's not a terrible rating. It's not what I would rate it, but it is my favorite from the House of City Rhythm. This is New Orleans Jazz and Blues. Ooh. Full of bourbon. Praline has a patisserie yes. baked bread type of accord. That's why you yeah. get this maple donut. It's a lot of spice. I believe cinnamon. I want to say ginger, like you called out. I want to say that's in there, too. There's a lot of notes in here. Um, it's 50% oil concentration. That's why it's... It's crazy. So, I mean, just smell it through the atomizer, how strong it is. Man. Two sprayer. Two sprayer, and you're damn near, f f damn near filling a room with this one. Yeah. This is my favorite from the house. That's amazing. Now, if you were to take out wearability and just look at, just judge it from the scent... If I was just judging it from the scent... I'm would, curious. I would probably say like a 9 out of 10 honestly so 9 out of 10 for scent and a 6 out of 10 for versatility yeah. and wearability based on his professional life I completely understand <laughs> that would, he's, he's on site filming he's a videographer by profession so yeah he can't have this loud obnoxious fragrance. I mean if you're this looking a loud obnoxious fragrance. if you're looking <laughs> for attention yes amen to that yeah that's real it's good. amazing it's but holy crap when you first gave that to me Punches you in the nose, yeah, right? right? Started <laughs> attacking me. Yeah, it's very aggressive. So, is it fair to say that I hit you with quite a bit of variety here, sir? It, yeah, I'm uh, stumped to say the least. Last one, showing you guys. Give it a spray. Give it three sprays. Why not? Alrighty, sir. Turn. Here we go. The test strip is not doing this fragrance well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like the test strips are just like nope. the neutralist. <sighs> well, it's not hitting any natural fragrance oils to really open up. This one is reminding me a lot of the other one. Which other one? Uh, the Sidrop Boise, the Red, Red Colorado. Colorado? Hmm. Um, I'm picking up the same kind of things. So the reason I always smell them first, because I'm just curious. So like with New Orleans... You get a lot of the notes on that one. I smell it. Ooh, here we go. This yeah. ought to be good. With this one, that's not. I smelled it far I handed to him. That's not what this fragrance smells like. You're not going to get much. I don't know if you're open to me spraying your hand. I think this one's going to need your skin for you to really. Yeah, you want to have a shot here. Yeah. Because I'm Cause just this is up, like just a, a little bit of a spoiler here. This is the most complex fragrance when it comes to subtle changing nuances of the five. Wow. Bit different from the test strip, huh? Yeah, it's got like a, like a spice, almost like a, there's like a spice. pepper, uh, like a, wow, like, scene. It's gonna rapidly change. At least it does. Yeah, for it's me. already changing. Every time bit. you go back to it, you're probably gonna get something slightly different. At least that's my, my experience with this particular fragrance. I'm actually picking up like. I know people call me crazy for this, but like the Nishane DNA, that like cedar, that um, underlying cedar, uh, oh, it's very nice. I don't remember what wood's in there. It's about to get a little darker. Yeah, it is really. It's going to change a lot. It's, and then if, if we were to do this for five minutes straight and let him check it every 20 to 30 seconds, he's going to get something slightly different. Yeah, it's time. developing it's, it's, into it develops like a, a lot. Uh, dark, rich. There's a lot of spice in here. Mm, uh, a lot of spice. Cardamom, most likely. That's in there. Cumin, probably, because it's coming across like that. Uh, it's man, it's changing a little bit. It's hard to really gauge in a short amount of time because it keeps changing. It's one of those yeah. fragrances that, like, you smell it up close. You get you formulate your thoughts, 
and then once you pull your hand away, it changes. Um, it's very nuanced. It's wow. very complex. It is a very complex fragrance. I was very much impressed the first time I smelled this one. I'm impressed every time I smell it. Yeah, for this one, I would have to say... I would have to say, like, again, 7 out of 10. That's very good. I like that. Situational, 7 out of 10. Okay. And then I would give it another point for just scent, because it's... It is dark. It's going to get Actually, I would take away the point. 7 out of 10, straight off the board, because... Just all around. All around, yeah. So are, you're you're not at the point where the coffee is going to settle in, but there's a there's a roasted oh, there's, coffee there's note that's going to come coffee. in in a second. There's patchouli that's going to come in. There's yeah, there's dark. a lot of notes here. It's actually quite the casual fragrance. It's from P. Frappen and Key. This is 1270. Ooh, I there's heard you an talk ex, about there's this an extreme flanker to this that I've never smelled that I need to try because this is fantastic. And if you, it, I'm glad it's on your hand because now he'll be able to sit here and hang out with it, and it's going to change. For hours, it's it's, it's really going to continue good. to change. Like we're we're in a two or three minute window right now while he's smelling this. The ride has just begun with this fragrance. Any of you that haven't tried it, you should get a sample. Any of you that have, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. This is good stuff. So what's in it exactly? There's a lot of notes. It's a lot of the notes. main. What are the like the main nuances that? So it is I'm very pick, woody. I should be picking it up. Very here. woody. You did picked up woody, spicy. It's a little warm. There's that coffee note that's really going to start jumping out probably in the next five minutes or so. Um, there's a creaminess. There's a little bit of florals here. Like, there's literally a smorgasbord of notes. It's a busy fragrance. Uh, yeah, it smells like, um, I don't want to say a mess, but, like... There's a like, lot going on. The opening yeah. is very, very busy. But as it starts to calm down, you start getting a lot of different nuance. It'll settle in. It's more. excellent, though. It's, like, so good. <sighs> Love this fragrance. So... P. Frappin, 1270, 7 out of 10. Yet. Well, that was the video. Thank you so much for doing this with me, Dude, Nathan, thank having you. me in your home. Yep, thank you. You're always welcome here. Uh, and uh, sorry I don't have, like, beverages, you know. I didn't even ask for a drink, but okay then. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to Paragon Fragrances. I'll have his channel linked down below. Like I said, great content. I highly doubt if you go watch any of his videos, you're not going to turn that red button gray. And don't forget to make that bell have a slash which means subscribe and turn on all, not all notifications. Make sure you like this video and comment down below before you leave. And until next time, guys, y'all have a good one.